How's it going, everybody? Mobby Nerd here. And recently, I've been thinking. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Listen, I've been playing Mabinogi for a long time, and somehow this game has landed me in places I never thought possible, allowing me to meet some truly interesting people from all over the place. Well, over time, my interest in just playing the game has shifted into creating media around the game. One thing hasn't changed. I still love this game. I want to see it grow. And at this point, I'm just incredibly curious how far I can push this needle. I want to meet more people who play Mabinogi from all over the place. I want to travel the world. So in conclusion, I'm flying to Japan to talk about Mabinogi. There's that, that's the video. Let's go! I traveled all the way to Japan for a Mabinogi themed adventure to party up with friends, try new food, and meet the people who work hard to promote the game overseas. That means venturing forth to the next sound office in Japan. And here's where our journey begins. Hey, what's going on? Oh, oh, huh? Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. Listen, if you followed Mabinogi's Japanese Twitter account, you've no doubt seen this hand puppet. It's Tan, the sheep from Mabinogi. And I, I welcome you to go onto the Twitter and see for yourself because he's gone on a lot of adventures. But today, I'm that sheep. It's me. So I'm going to give you a brief tour of the office. Let's take a look. Okay, so I promised the tour, but really I wanted to show you guys these really cool 3D printed statues. That's Neo and Pond. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, even the giant Pond statue you saw earlier, I believe was also 3D printed. From looking at it, I'd have never guessed. It looks way heavier than it actually is. And I don't know about you, but I'd personally kill to have one of these in my living room. That'd be dope. You can't go on a Mabinogi themed adventure without seeing some animals along the way, right? So I figured on this trip, I wanted to make amends and apologize to an animal that I feel has been disrespected in the Mabinogi community, the Capybara. If you didn't know, for some reason, the Capybara is an enemy that you can attack in Mabinogi. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a quest that has you hunting them for their fur that has an abysmal drop rate. So with the backstory out of the way, come with me to meet some Capybaras at a Capybara themed cafe. Me and my friends went to Cafe Capybara, a unique cafe that lets you get up close and personal with one of nature's chillest mammals. Up until today, I had never seen one of these in person, and I gotta say, Capybaras are huge. <laughs> and they do live up to the memes. They're very focused and don't seem to care at all. That is until you have food in your hands. Then they really care. And they're kind of fast. It was really cool to get the knock making a peace offering with the capybaras off my bucket list. I am not sure if they accepted it, but at the very least, I can say I tried. On behalf of the Mabinogi community, I'm sorry, capybaras, that we keep hunting you for your fur. He's like nudging my leg. When you think of Mabinogi, what comes to mind in the world of Aaron? For me, it's gotta be food. There's so many different types of foods you can try in the world of Aaron. So I figured since I'm someplace new, I wanna try something different. I wanna try some food that I wouldn't normally eat. So here's a quick compilation of some of the strangest things that I've tried to eat while on this trip. Starting with this chicken. Now at first glance, I wouldn't front you for thinking that this chicken is burnt to a crisp, but it's actually coated in squid ink and seasoned with a spicy powder. It was actually pretty good. Like not even hamming it up for the video. That chicken was amazing. Like look at this, it looks burnt. It doesn't look appetizing in the slightest, but it has this sweet, spicy taste to it that I I can't really describe it. Like I tried to describe it, but that I can't describe it. You have to try it. This is something that you have to try for yourself. So if you're ever in Ikebukuro and you see this shop, try it. Don't be scared. Well, on this trip, I tried quite a few different things from river fish on a stick 
all the way to cow intestines and cow tongue. Uh, if you're interested in a more in-depth food theme video, let me know in the comments, but let's just say I was a little bit too adventurous this time around. I don't regret it though. I don't regret it. I can think of no better way to end this video than to highlight how much fun it is to just sing with friends, which I think is also a very Mabinogi thing to do. Because if you think about it, in the world of Aaron, there's music everywhere. There's always somebody playing some kind of instrument, someplace, for better or worse. So we end our adventure with some goofy footage from one of my favorite places to visit in Japan, Ninja Bar in Asakusa. I had a lot of fun in the country, and I really want to thank Nexon Japan for welcoming me into the office and talking with me about Mabinogi. While I didn't get to record this interaction, what I learned from this conversation is very valuable towards the Mabinogi documentary coming soon. What you've seen in this video is really like an abridged version of everything that happened while I was in Japan. Perhaps at a later date, I'll make a more fun, flowy music montage of all the crazy stuff because you know me, I love making those. But for now, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked it, it would mean the world to me if you give it a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment, not just for myself, but to show Nexon Japan some love for inviting me out and just giving me more information about how the game is overseas. Seriously, thank you. I'm Mobby Nerd. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I'm gunning. If you see me coming, don't try run it. Let me tell you something. I'm bringing law to this land. Fill your eyes with that sand. When it bursts, leave you blind. I'm the worst. I'm an alchemist. You don't test me. Got the original gap on my wrist. Hear that click? You won't exist. When I flow like water, hit hard like a cannon. Make you fight a flame burst. Make it hotter. Stand up. It's an honor because I'm bringing you down like a pal. Your life flashed in a bit. That's a critical hit. They stay stacked. That's a theory, not a query. Hear that? And let's roll. I'm a charge right through your bullet rushing.